And Section 5, we don't have a ton, actually we don't have any of our local teams there, but it is worth pointing out, here are the eight teams in it. You can see Anvil and Columbia, Lancaster Catholic, Northern Lebanon, Peckway, they're all from the LL. Hamburg, Kutztown, Schuylkill Valley, they join the fun. So this is just a quick thing for us, Eric. How do you look at all of these teams and is there anybody that stands out that potentially could win that section or is this another free for all? Well, and I, you know, we had Columbia on the schedule against Ephrata last year. And if there was ever a year to see that Columbia team, it was going to, it was last year, but unfortunately because of COVID it had to be postponed. And I was so disappointed because that was the best Columbia team in, in, you know, quite a few years, some just tremendous athletes. I think if there's one school you're going to look at is look at Schuylkill Valley because Bruce Harbach, who was the coach at Lancaster Catholic has taken over up there. We know what he did at Lancaster Catholic. He's going to try and replicate that now with Schuylkill Valley. And uh, I, I'd say right now, keep an eye on on Schuylkill Valley as maybe the front runner in Section 5. Yeah, interesting uh, little connection there because Schuylkill Valley and Lancaster Catholic will play each other at some point in the yes, season. Yes, they will. So that'll be very interesting. Tim, any thoughts on uh, who stands out there? Or is it kind of you have to wait and see since we really don't ever see these teams in action? I think it's a wait and see because we 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 know a couple of teams just from the Lancaster Lebanon League. But one of the things that I'm I'm looking at, and I don't want this to, to be kind of a joke, but I'm looking at the teams that have to travel a lot. I mean, you're looking at a team such as Peckway Valley has got to go all the way to Kutztown. I mean, th these kids are going to be on a school bus for over two hours, and you just you just wonder how that is going to affect the kids. It's going to affect their schoolwork as far as you know when they get out on a Friday. So a lot of those things are just going to be brand new uh you, you know sometimes when the schools play closer together they only have a 10 12 minute bus ride now they're going to be in a bus for two hours you just wonder are the school districts instead of going school bus are they going to go with a coach bus so a lot of stuff that you have to think about not just on the field but exactly uh you know how to keep the kids safe as well all right, so you brought that up, and you uh, gave me just enough time to look it up. From Columbia High School to Kutztown University, which is the general area, an hour and 52-minute drive either way. So Kutztown going to Columbia or Columbia going to Kutztown. You're all right. That, that is quite a haul. Uh, it's going to be more than two hours. I can guarantee you that with traffic. <laughs> True, and 222 up there is a nightmare as well. So, yeah. all right, worth pointing out all of that. We looked through all five sections of football. We're excited for it to get underway here in about a week and a half.